Hey friends, it's Miss Limer here to teach you the basics, the beginning of place value. Now place value is something that you've been doing since kin pretty much kindergarten. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take it a little step farther than the stuff that you learned at the beginning of the year last year. So please make sure that you pay very close attention to this so that you know what to do when we get together and talk more about place value. So the first thing you need to know about place value is try to remember what you learned last year. So in second grade place value, you go from the hundreds place that you learned in first grade to the thousands place that you learned in second grade. So instead of just the ones, the tens, and the hundreds, we add this thing called a comma and we take it to the thousands place. So we've got our ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, right? So we have four digits instead of just three. Each one of these spaces is where you put a number or a digit, okay? So if I put the number, three thousand four hundred sixty three my three is in the thousands place I have a four in the hundreds place a six in the tens place and a three in the ones place my number is three thousand four hundred sixty three okay third grade though is just a little bit different because we're adding two more places into what you already know. So we're just adding on a little bit of knowledge. So instead of just having it up to the thousands place like in second grade, we're adding two places. So we have the ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, and hundred thousands. Okay, so kind of like how we went ones, tens, hundreds, thousands is kind of like another ones. Then we have our tens, but we add the last name thousands, and our hundreds, but we add thousands. Once you pass that comma, these three places have the last name of thousands. They're kind of like their own little family, the thousands, the ten thousands, and the hundred thousands. Okay, so I'm going to show you a place value chart. Okay, so this is our place value chart. And let me zoom in for you. Oh, I guess we can't make that bigger. So this is our place value chart. Before you just had your ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. But now we're adding our ten thousands and our hundred thousands. Okay, so something that's super, super important to know is that you have to know how to read a number, right? So for example, in let's say first grade, you just do numbers to the hundreds place. So for example, this number's three in the hundreds place of so 328. In second grade, you added the thousands place. So you knew that this was 4,638 because whenever you add that comma, that means you're in the thousands spot. But this year, we're adding those two extra places. So there's very different way to read that number. And I'm going to show you a great way to learn how to read that number. So here's a really good way to learn how to read that number. So let's say we have this number right here, 346,185. One big thing you have to know about third grade is that there's no number ever called and. So you never say and in a number, ever, 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 right? So our step one, read the number to the left of the comma. So I, I noted for you, here's the left, that's starting from the beginning. So this number right here, and if you cover everything else up, let me get a square and I can cover that up for you. If we cover everything else up, what does that number say? 346. Have it typed right there. 346. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to read the comma. Now that sounds kind of weird. You read the comma. Well, the comma is super special because it does say something. It says thousand. So now you put it together and you say, okay, we have 346,000. And then you read that last number. And our last number is 185 and you put it all together. So I read my first number, 
346, read my comma, 1,000, 185. Notice how I never said and. 346,185. So that's how we're going to read our number. So let's look at a few different other numbers that we could read. So our first one's going to be down here. We, we read our first number there. So it's 27,243. 27,243. Okay, let's practice another one. So here, we're going to read our first number. So our first number... 642, what does that comma say? 1,397. So we put it together. 642,397. 642,397. Let's do another one. Now this is gonna be a little bit trickier. So we're going to read the first number, 798,000, watch this, this is gonna get tricky, 48. Do I have to read that zero? What does zero say? Zero doesn't say anything. So my first number is 798,048. 798,000. 48. Notice I didn't say and because there's no number as such as and. There's no number called and. 798,048. All right. So when we're reading numbers, there's no number called and. There's no number called and. Okay. So once again, when you're reading your numbers, you read the first number. You read the comma and the comma says thousand and then you read the second number. And remember, there's no number called and. Now, before I let you go, I'm going to show you the places again. This is something really important that you really need to put up in your brain. So let's go over these places a few more times. So we have our ones, tens, hundreds. The comma means we're going into our thousands. We have our thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. Say it with me. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. One more time. Say it with me. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. All right, guys, what you just watched is the very beginning of third grade place value.